Hi there! So you are looking for the Hylian Shield, the strongest shield in the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Well, in this video I'm going to show you exactly how and where to find the Hylian Shield, without getting any damage. Nice one, right? My name is Michael and you're watching the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. There are multiple ways to get there, but it's easiest to start at the lookout landing post. Which is in front of Hyrule Castle. Now open your map and go to this area here, which are the docks in Hyrule Castle. Now there are several other ways to get there, uh, by foot is one. If you have already unlocked the view tower, use that one. That makes it go a little bit faster. Just go up and dive down and eventually use your paraglider to go towards Hyrule Castle. Anyways, before we continue, if you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. That helps with the discoverability of this video a lot. And that is what we need to grow the channel. What we also need to grow is subscribers. So if you have not done that yet, please subscribe to the channel, so you won't miss other upcoming nice videos about Legend of Zelda or any other games. When in the air, just glide towards Hyrule Castle. Make sure that your stamina doesn't run out. And if you don't have the view tower yet, just walk towards this point. You placed your pin, so it's pretty easy navigating, and in this part of Hyrule Castle, there are Pretty much no enemies. So before your stamina runs out, make sure you safely land. If you reach it, one of the walls is an easy way to move from. I also stream games such as The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom live on Twitch. Feel free to check it out. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description below. Alright, from this point use a paraglider again and just go to that path there. Or you could just follow the wall. It's up to you. Now follow the path until the end, where you can get a Karak seed. Just walk all the way to the end. And now if you take a look at the left side there, there's water. And at the right side is gloom. So you want to go to the water part. Jump down, use your paraglider and just glide in this cave, in the docks. Make sure you land here. Watch out for the gloom. Usually you would go over that stairs there, but there are hands enemy and we don't want to come across them because they're very strong. So just glide into the water and swim a little bit towards that big rock area there. And when you're there, climb up here, onto the wall. all the way to the top and there are no enemies there. As you might know I'm a lover, not a fighter, so if I can avoid battle, I always will. When on top, you can see this big place that we need to set on fire. 
this big blaze. There are several ways to do that. I do that with using the fire fruit. Just throw it in and it's burning. A treasure chest appears. Now open the treasure chest. And there we got a Hylian shield. Okay, I can't carry any more, so I have to drop one. But it's totally fine, a Hylian shield with a strength of 19, which is a lot. Cool. Equip it. And a Hylian shield in our possession. Very well done. Let me know in the comments down below if you had any trouble getting this shield. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is Michael, signing off now. See ya!